No, there's nothing wrong with the sound in the video. Um, that first clip was just me at work doing an OPK in the stall. And I got a smiley face. So that means it's time for IUI number seven. My first IUI after my miscarriage. And I was... I guess kind of excited to see the smiley face I said I'll do a quick video but then I realized I can't talk because I'll be in the stall at work and it'll look like I'm talking to myself so I just kind of mouthed smiley face um, in the video it'll probably look a little crazy but those are some of the crazy things you do when you're trying to conceive like doing ovulation predictor kits in the bathroom stall in the afternoon so I'm home now, obviously, and I have reached out to the clinic, and I have my appointment all scheduled for tomorrow for IUI number seven. So I'll continue this video in the morning. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's Arlette from Chasing Joy. So I'm just continuing the video this morning. I am about to head out of the house to go get my 7th IUI. Um, this is my, I believe, 11th cycle since I started trying to conceive. And this is my first IUI after the miscarriage. Um, so I'll figure I'll just really quickly show you things I'm taking with me to my IUI. So first up, in semi socks. Now, if you watch my videos... Um, from my previous IUI, they look familiar because they're the same ones. I decided to stick with the same socks um, because, you know, I did get pregnant that time even though it wasn't viable. So I so said maybe these socks, you know, have it in them. And they're pink and blue stripes with smiley faces. So I think that pretty much captures it. Boy or girl, I'll be smiling. Um, I'm also taking uh, my... Oprah Life You Want bracelet that I got when I went to her um, tour and just for no real reason it's just pretty and fun so I said oh maybe I'll wear that to my IUI so I'm putting that on and then probably the most significant thing is this bracelet I'm sorry this necklace and I think I showed it to you guys um, a while ago I've been wearing this to every IUI. My mom gave it to me. Sorry, I was blocking my face. My mom gave it to me um, right before my first IUI. And this is actually the first piece of jewelry that my dad ever gave her. And she gave it to me. And she said, now um, it can be like my dad is there with us because um, he's, he's passed away. Um, so I'm wearing these things, taking them with me. I'm also drinking a ton of water because... Um, I've, I read somewhere that having a full bladder makes the IUI more comfortable and I honestly don't know if it's true because I've done it every single time but every single time my IUI was not painful so I'm just going to assume it's because of the water and because I don't want to have a painful experience I'm just going to do that um, even, even though you know I'm not positive that that's why it's not been painful could be the doctors are just really excellent at doing them um but those are things i'm taking with me <clears throat> excuse me and let me just throw it out there i'm not superstitious i really don't think the socks do anything or the necklace or the bracelet but you know iui can be stressful um because you're about to do this life-changing thing um you know you leave your house normal <laughs> or as normal as anyone any of us are um and then you are, are coming back probably hopefully um, a, a mom to be so you know that in itself could be stressful plus this this is my first IUI after miscarriage so you know I'm a little nervous trying to think really positive but definitely there's a stress element there and these things just kind of make it fun kind of lighten the mood so it's not like I think oh because I did this that's you know what happened so anyway just trying to keep it fun and keep watching the video the next scene will be me getting my IUI number seven, hopefully the last one. Please pray for me, guys. Please send me baby dust, good thoughts, 
all that stuff and um, stay tuned. The numbers. Yeah. So where's those jazzy and semi socks? All right. <laughs> now hurry up and wait. <laughs> can you see me? Mm -hmm. okay. Hey. Yes, I can see you. Hi. How are you guys? Hi. Hi. Okay, we're getting all set. Yep. There you go. Thank you. Oh, where's my phone? Here's my phone. I have the number in there. Oops. This one's going to work, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Stick. Okay, stick. Mm -hmm. piece of tape matching my blue tape here mm -hmm. has the number and you're going to check over here okay on this blue tape okay. zero two zero four dash zero four p yep on the side has your name mm -hmm. and your birth date of three seventeen eighty yep. and the donor number is one three eight three two yep and you see that here right you saw it on the side mm -hmm. one three eight three two can you sign for me? Okay. Right there. And today is 2 4. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know, that's crazy. So it's 10 million? 10 million swimming is sperm. It's a good number. Okay, okay we'd like more than five. Whenever you're ready, you can put your feet up and scoop it all the way down to the end of the table. sides, get a filmy touch, and the speculum with some pressure, okay? Yep. A lot of pressure. You okay? Yep. Yeah, then we're almost done. The catheter is very floppy. Won't feel the catheter, but you can make a touch on your leg. You guys, good luck. Thank you. I'll check on your pregnancy test in a couple weeks. Okay. I'll talk to you soon, guys. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks. You just signed away the next 21 years. Okay, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.